and like with the stupid chat of the look i have myself watching myself interview on a pillow i have of I have course you have <laughs> got gummy bears of with my face we're completely stupid we're idiotic let's be absolutely honest here we just you know we're just here to have fun this is a at the end of the day, this is a video game you know and want to entertain us uh, uh, as well and things are good i mean we, we got first regular season hopefully we can win the whole thing uh, but the team is feeling good we are feeling good we're optimistic we're positive and our fans are the best Fanatic fans are the second best. He's able, well, he's just gone back now. He should feel a little more confident. Nukeduck has the flash, but the chain's still gonna land. There's the ignite. They're looking for the Nukeduck. He tries to shuffle away. That ignite is taking though, and Nukeduck will be first blood. Zerse is gonna jump in onto Perks, but Yankus is trading it back, and Zerse has to bounce away once again. In the mid lane, upset already down to half HP, and Nukeduck's the next on the menu. Two shot flash coming out as Wanda dives underneath the turret. And now they can step forward. Wanda's just tanking it all for days. In the end, he will fall. But it takes a long time for Origin and the turret helping out. They're looking for a pick in the top lane. I like this. They're going to catch Yankos. Yankos got a face oh. check straight into oh. the bridge line. Oh. He uses the subjugate. He had feel he's pretty dead. Her jumps in, takes Nuke Duck very low, very quickly. And uh, he ends up dying there. Now, oh. put. It, it, what? No, G2. This is last They're week G2. Doing it again. This They're is last week G2. You're just <laughs> inting into them. Be the nature scars coming out. New going to teleport into the middle of this, and there might be a fight even if they finish the bound. Caps jumping forward onto upset. Almost takes him out. Perks goes in, and upset is down. Called out by Caps, who dived in from the side, and that's a double for Caps. He's looking for three. He's looking for more. He's looking for four. As New Duck gets exhausted and will fall. There's the triple. Destiny next on the menu oh. for the quadra kill. Oh my God. Secures oh, it with your auto attack. Oh, Don't need no man for the Penta. Will G2 steal it away from him because Afari is fading. But the chains locked up. Afari in place. Cat with a Penta kill to assuade the naysayers. No one thought he could play well last week. Well, a Penta puts them in their place. G2 with a dominant win in game one of this best of five. This okay, is a really dangerous position for Yankos, though, because OG can collapse much faster, but here we are. Uh, he's got the lantern. This should be, even if Yankos jumps in, this should be a pretty easy escape. I wonder if G2 actually still wants to take the fight because the wave has pushed in and they're looking to dive underneath the tower. Perks coming in. Mickey going to get booted up underneath the tower. Upset cleanses, flashes away. Mickey tries to get the final auto attack in, but won't manage to land it. I'm surprised they committed to this. Now oh, they're going to commit to TV another behind. fight. Perks is coming into this. Upset has nowhere to go and Yankos will take him out. Cap's going to flash away and Perks has the flank now, but Yankos might be dead before Perks can even arrive. Yankos looking for the flash across the wall. Doesn't manage to get it. And now Perks flashing forward. That bomb's not going to connect with the time wall. Will slow up Zersa, and Zersa really hasn't got anywhere to go, but the Haymaker comes out, and the death, the dredge line! Oh, it's a one-for-one -one trade in the bottom lane. Destiny now underneath the tower. Here's the hex flash. Mickey looking for it. He lands the hook on Destiny, and there's the bomb. Oh, Perks missed the bomb! Perks missed the bomb! Mickey comes in with the empowered auto attack, slaps him down with the scythe. And now that bound going lower and lower. The smite should secure it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really. As the FPX from Destiny! <laughs> what? You're not good enough to spam that, mate! <laughs> oh. Trying to challenge the enemy AD carry to a 1v1, and Upset is on the losing side! Upset down to the GA as the fight continues, but the Pop Blossom is not with the Empress Divide! You look at Nuke Duck, he's already dead, Caps has killed him! Caps able to take out Upset, able to take out Alfari as the Trent give him another Penta! Oh no, Perks, you! Boo! this cast! But Zillion plus Aphelios, we've seen it before, we're gonna see it again. Going for this, he's landing the hook. As the exhaust comes down onto upset, Mickey very low, uses the thick skin to survive. The face breaker coming out as well as Yankos lands a lot of damage. Destiny's the first one to fall. And there, Yank uh, Zerse is gonna flash away with a haymaker as well. Upset now off towards the top side of this the pissing arrow. Doesn't land from caps. And great play from Origin to get a kill in the mid lane. World Ender was popped here, I believe, by Wonder in the top lane as Yankos is looking for the gank. Alfari's gonna try and trade. Sitting in the minions, looking for that kill on Mika's Yankos now forced under the tower. Wonder's not in a good position because Nuke Duck's on his way. Alfari with a great, great 2v1 play. And here comes Nuke Duck looking for Wonder, flashing forward. Can't quite land the damage. Alfari's now taking up the tower. There's the ignite, and Yankos will tick away. Origin finding kills left, right, and center. Win out the fight. Good flash there from Destiny, forcing Perks to flash out. But look at the damage he takes in return. Nuke Duck coming in. Perks gobbled up in the Devourer. He's sitting in the belly for a long time. The stopwatch is used, but the bullet time will take him out. And that's two good picks for Origin. And now you can see the flank position from Alfari, and that's Caps down. This is a great fight for Origin. They find three. No one dies, and they can turn back towards the Baron. And now with the teleport coming in, Origin are looking to take their first game in this series. Dredge on just about goes wide, but there's the depth charge. Alfari fighting against three off towards the top side. Caps cleanses, QSS's, tries to get away, but there's no escaping a nuke duck when he is playing this love block. Just hit level six and he's going for it. 
Nuke does have Flash to get away. Still has the Petrifying Gaze as well. There he lands on Perks. Perks is under the tower. Perks is dead. He's gone. Nuke Duck wins the 1v1. Yankos now going to chase him to Nuke Duck. The Ragnarok coming out. Nuke Duck has the Flash, but the chase is in, and Yankos gets a solo kill in the mid lane. Now they're trying to take control as we see a fight in top. Lane. They knew Destiny was there all along. There was a ward in the second bush, and he walks straight over it. Nuke Duck, the target here. The Petrifying Gaze comes out. Perk's almost fallen. The Cosmic Radiance is a little bit too late. Nuke Duck in the back of the alcove will get taken out by G2. It's a one for one in the end as Perks is actually a double. Teleport in here behind as Perks looks at the fight. Ragnarok coming out, there's Cosmic Radiance as well. Nuke Duck trying to turn this one around, but he's been caught out by G2. And you can deal with him by killing him. Use, there's the Dazzle, they land it onto Alfari. Cap's gonna try and get some damage in as Yankos now opens up on the Aatrox. Alfari flashes across the wall, Yankos flashes to chase. Quarter of the Forge got used to separate the fight, and Origin thought they had the flank, but Yankos was waiting in the wing. It goes across to G2, and Nuke Duck is dead. Perks has secured it. He's got the shot down, and now Destiny's getting chased off towards the bottom side. Zersi opens up with a Haymaker, but you can see the damage coming out from Yankos. He's 2v1, and he takes them both down. Teleport coming in for the win as G2 looks to close this one out. 3 1 versus Origin and they are hankering for another shot at the rookies next week. I think both teams are actually trash. I think how we played last week and how they played is like pretty bad. And I think that the worst team lost, so we were the worst team, but it doesn't actually mean they are a good team. I think they are pretty shit. And I think we were just pretty shit too. And, and, uh, that's just, you know, how online is, I guess. People are just getting caught 24-7. Everyone is like, and I just feel like everyone is so trash. And, and we, are, we are trash too. So, I mean, but we are not that bad at the same time, so.